Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. How to subpoena financial records. Hello, Legal Eagles. Today we're going to tackle a question that might seem as complex as a Rubik's Cube, but don't worry, we're here to simplify it. How to subpoena financial records. Let's dive in. First, let's clear the air. A subpoena is a formal document that orders someone to produce documents or testify in a case. So if you're looking to subpoena financial records, you're basically asking for these documents to be produced in court. Step 1. Determine the need. You must have a legitimate legal reason to request these records. This isn't a fishing expedition, folks. Step 2. Draft the subpoena. This needs to include the case name, court, and specific documents you're requesting. Remember, being vague won't get you anywhere. Step 3. Get it signed. A judge or court clerk must sign the subpoena. No, your autograph won't work here. Step 4. Serve the subpoena. This can be done by a sheriff, process server, or even a friend. But no, you can't serve it yourself. Step 5. Wait for compliance or objections. The recipient can either provide the documents or object to the subpoena. If they object, you may need to go back to court. And there you have it. You're now a subpoena aficionado. Remember, this process can vary by jurisdiction, so always consult with a legal professional in your area. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.